He's got a base open, so he has to focus on making a good pitch right here. Got him swinging in the dirt. McGuire goes to get it, and that ends the inning. Stepping in for the Jays, Corey Dickerson, as we are all set to begin the third inning in this one. Corey Dickerson. First pitch on the way. A shot to second base and handled for the first out. Next, it'll be Reese McGuire. Number seven. Here's the first pitch. The offense better get it going right here because they certainly can tell from their dugout this guy is carrying himself with a presence out on the mound. He's got feel for all his pitches. Count now a ball and a strike. And now a fastball but he's able to hold off on it and it's two and one now. Easy there big fella two and two. Hey, I love the mindset of this pitcher right here. Try and dominate and execute a fastball in, and then get the guy sitting inside trying to be quick to everything, and then pull the string a little bit on the nasty changeup. Throw in time at first for out number two. So the lineup flips over and digging in, George Springer looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. And this is taken outside for ball one. And that one yanked just foul. And it's fouled away. Third inning, no score to this point. And a fastball swung on and missed, and his side is retired. Next batter to the plate, Brian Goodwin. Leading off for the Yankees, the designated hitter, Brian. First Good delivery player. to him. A fastball off the plate away. It's ball one. Tried to get some loft to that swing, but it's one and one. Hey, make no mistake about it. This lineup's going to have to get going and get a little bit more aggressive. This guy's pounding the zone. Ball taken there. Two and one now. Into the windup and the pitch. Now a ball fouled down the right field line out of play, so that'll move the count to two and two now. Pitch on the way. You do not want to walk the eight hole hitter. It just opens up so many options. Do we bunt them over to second with the nine hole hitter? Do we try and play for that big rally with the top of the order coming up? This is a huge pitch. You can't allow this guy to walk. The three two one more time. And swung on and missed strike three. One out here in the Yankees third that inning nice. and that'll bring in D.J. LeMayhew. DJ. First pitch on the way. LeMayhew. And that's in there for strike one. Not the ideal location for a changeup up in the zone, but he got away with it. And this misses the outside corner, so it's knotted up at one and one. And they'll turn to the slider here, and it just misses. Two and one now. Big sweeping breaking ball right there. Good pitch, but if he wants to get him to swing at it, he'll have to bring it. A diving effort as it's off his glove. Throw will not be in time at first. A good effort that time, but not enough to prevent them from getting a one-out base runner. Number 29. That'll bring in Giovanni Urshela as he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty. It's strike one. 0 for 1 here in the early going. A bouncer to the left side. 
The second for one. Relay to first in time. And just like that, the side is retired. So now into the box is Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Flew out in his only at bat so far. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last AB. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this AB. The wind up and the 0 1. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0-2. There's another pitch for a strike, and this guy's really attacking hitters well tonight, being aggressive early on. And if he continues to throw strikes like he is, he's going to have a pretty good night. But this will be speared at third, and that was self-defense all the way. One gone. First pitch of the A-B now. Still all zeros in the run column here in the fourth inning. Dan, does this continue or does somebody score here? Oh, you have to love. You know, Matt, we have so many of these games that are 12 to 10 and 9 to 8. It's nice to see a low scoring pitcher's duel for once. Right on the corner, two and two. Probably better that he let that pitch go anyway. After seeing a lively fastball on the pitch before, it's pretty hard to sit back enough on a well thrown changeup. And he fouls this one off. The 2 2. And this is lined hard to deep left. Yelich is going to get there as he backs up to put it away. And there are two gone now. So now, now it'll be the four hole Double hitter, over. Rowdy Tellez. Fly down in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. And now pitch on the way. And here's a called strike at the knees. Don't think he liked that one too much, but it's 0 and 1. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. Pitching has the upper hand early as we're scoreless in inning number four. And he'll step out and ask for time. Maybe trying to get this pitcher out of the rhythm he's in right now. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. The next 0 2. This is on the ground over to first. Fielded cleanly. The tag, and he is out. And next to bat will be the outfielder, Christian Yelich. The old adage, pitching and defense have been stellar so far. They've certainly kept both offenses in check. Good off-speed pitch. Had him out in front for strike one. He turns on it and sends it deep down the line and right. Carlson is back, and he reaches up to put it away for a long out number one. Next for New York, Aaron Judge. He balanced out last time up. First pitch on its way. Sends that one out of play for strike one. Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more off speed stuff. But this guy's locating, feeling really good about his fastball. Two back to back. And it's a ball and two strikes now to Aaron Judge. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. Well, he kind of got caught chasing the first two pitches out of the strike zone. But I think he's caught on to their game a little bit right now. Two tough pitches that he took with two strikes. And now the count is two and two. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. So that brings up the big bat of Joey Gallo. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Gallo. Now here's the first offering. After fouling off the second one, I got to step out of the box, adjust my batting gloves, and tell myself there's no chance he's tripling up on that pitch. 
And he gets him to swing through that one. He's in control 0 and 2. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. Good pitch right there with the bases empty. Why not take a shot? Throw that breaking ball in the dirt. But we'll have to press pause as that strike three to retire the side. Top of the fifth, and into bat next, the legacy Bo Bichette. First pitch of the AB on its way. Tried to check it, and it's 0 1. Drill down the line, and that's through for a base hit, make him one for two in this one. In now, Dylan Carlson. Looked like he went around that time. They'll appeal down to third, and yes, sir, it's strike one. A runner at first with no outs here. Hit back up the middle. Torres picks it up. LeMay Hugh for one. To Voight in time for the double play. So base is empty now after the double play. And digging in is the outfielder, Teoscar Hernandez. Here's the first pitch. And he tries to hold back on the swing, but I think it would have been ruled a strike anyway. It's nothing in one. I really like how he's getting ahead early in the count. He's pitching aggressively, and what that does, it holds the pitch count down. One and one the count. Now here's the pitch. Well, those were a couple of close pitches right there in the inner part of the zone. Hitters will tell you, pitches in that location are tough to do anything with. Ball three. If I'm in the box right now, I'm coming unglued. He is going to throw something over the heart of the plate. Into the corner and slicing foul. Three-two pitch. Gets him looking at the knees for the strikeout. Set now for the bottom of the fifth, and next to bat will be the first baseman, Boyd. The first baseman. And the pitch. Boy. Lays off 1-0. And he'll try to check his swing here, but he'll have no such luck. It's strike one. Oh, and he squares this one nicely, and it's lined into center field for a leadoff single. Around first, he's digging for second. And the Yankees are in business here. It's a leadoff double. Up next to the Yankees, the catcher, Zach Collins. To the plate now, Zach Collins. Yes, he'll take a look at ball one. It was a double for him in his first turn at the plate. Fouled away. Voigt stands at second with no outs. And this one runs a little too far in. Ball two. Hey, after the double in his first at bat, looks like he's trying to pitch around this guy a little bit. Got him to swing under that one. It's two and two. Now time granted here at the plate as he'll step out of the box. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Fastball swung on and missed for the first out. Next up, Glaber Torres. He went down on strikes in his last at bat. Yeah, he's got to put that one behind him, especially with runners in scoring position. Those punch outs will stick with you a little longer. Springer on the run. He gets there, and that's the second out. And no tag at second. He'll head back there with two away now. 
the bat. So next the to bat will be hitter. Brian Goodwin oh, yeah. struck out in his last trip to the Good plate. Win. Sometimes you just got to tip your cap to the guy on the mound. He's getting paid to try and get you out as well. Anytime it gets up there north of seven, eight pitch ABs, sometimes it just comes down to pure execution. Let's see if he makes the adjustment right here. Behind 0 and 2 now. 0 and 2. Here it is. No runs, three hits, and no errors for the Yankees so far. Inside and high with that one. One ball, two strikes. Fouled off. Here's the one and two. And he lays off the fastball away, so it's two and two now. When a pitcher's close to working through a quick inning, that's when you really need to grind out some at bats. He's done a good job of that, and that's really big when you're hitting towards the bottom of the order. The 2 2 pitch. And he struck him out, his eighth punch out of the ballgame, and that one ends the inning. Top half of the sixth about to get started. And striding forward, the designated, the designated hitter, Corey Dickerson. Corey Dickerson. Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. like the fastball got away from him there it's ball two non competitive pitch right there runs the count to 2 0 and he is ready to do some damage in the box two and one after the foul ball there really pulled that one across as the slider misses well inside well that sets up a big pitch right here Matt because you don't want to lose the leadoff guy in a scoreless game. It's tough to work around the leadoff walk. And it's a full count. Three and two to the Blue Jays DH. Pulled toward right center field. Gallo moves to his right and puts this one away in the alley for rat number one. So next to hit now is bad. Reese McGuire number comes seven. into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. First offering on its way. And it's fouled away. And a check swing here as he couldn't help himself, and it's ruled strike two. Stays alive, still 0 and 2. Bases are empty, one man out. This is on the ground over to first, and that is going to sneak on through into right. It's a one out single. Now batting, the center fielder, George Springer. And prior to the first pitch, you look to first. But he's safe at first as he gets back in time. George Springer the next to hit and it's grounded just foul down the line no hits to this point off the plate one ball one strike both clubs with three hits in the ballgame. And he fouls this one off. Strikes 
swung on and blasted. No bunt cheese on that one. It's way gone. Now, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. will swing and lift a ball foul off to the left and out of play. 0 for 2 for him to this point. Fouled away. Two runs, four hits, and no errors in the game for Toronto. Tries the slider to ring him up, but he lays off one and two. Lays off two and two now. Into the windup and the pitch. High pop up. Severino has a play. Two gone. Now in the box, Marcus Simeon, a hit in two at bats for him at this point in the ballgame. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. This is line to left. Yelich will get there and he puts it away to retire the side. DJ LeMayhew is set to start it out for the for Yanks the here in the sixth. The second baseman. DJ. Now time is called here as we'll Ron get a trip to Mayhew. the mound. Joaquin Soria enters to do the now pitching in the bottom of the sixth. Number 28. Joaquin Soria. He's set. Here it comes. Set to deliver the 0 and 1. And a check swing here as he couldn't help himself, and it's ruled strike two. Put that in a memory bank. First time he breaks out a curveball right there, and it's a pretty good one. Protecting on 0 and 2, so we'll do it again. He's got that certainly timed up now. I'd be shocked if the pitcher goes to the well three times in a row with off speed. Fastball call, strike three, and there's the first out of the inning. Now back to the top of the lineup, stepping in, Gio Urshela. He was a double play victim last time around. Yeah, rolling into a two ball will eat at you for the rest of the game at least, so you know he wants to make up for it right here. Weak grounder down the line at third, but this is foul for the first strike. A swinging strike, and now it's 0-2. Hey, you want someone sometimes to rattle the bat rack, but also the guy on the mound's got to eat too. They're executing their pitches out there. It's going to be tough to score some runs. Here comes another 0 2, and he strikes him out as well. So two punch outs to begin the outing out of the pen. Now batting. Two Left away field. now in the Yankees' six. That'll bring up Christian Yelich. Yelich. From the stretch. A one count. Here's the pitch. A ball and a strike. 
hey, a two-out walk right here would be the tying run to the plate. Even though it's early on, you got a guy on deck that has a lot of pop. Fouled off. And it's fouled away. Two out, nobody on. And now before the one-two, time is called at home plate. Nasty breaking ball swung on in the dirt. McGuire is after it. The throw to first is in time, and the inning is over. Seventh inning ready to roll, and here comes the first baseman, Rowdy Tellez. The first baseman, number 11. Clay Holmes is Your on to pitch from please. the bullpen now to start now inning number seven. The New York Yankees. Number 35. Clay. Holmes. First pitch on the way. And this one's not close. It's in the dirt for ball one. And he gets a piece of this one to foul it toward the backstop. And he fouls this one off. You can definitely tell with that foul off right there that he's picking up spin on this pitcher's off speed stuff. Maybe expect a fastball on this next one. Swing and a miss there as the breaking ball takes care of him for the first out. Now that Digging in next, Bo Bichette. Bo He's working on Bichette. a one for two game so far. Fly ball out to straightaway right. Gallo is there, two down. Digging in, now the switch hitter, Dylan right Carlson. Field. Third trip Dylan. to the plate for him here tonight. Oh. 0 for 2 at this point. Here's the first pitch to him. And he makes good contact there, but this is going to find the stands foul down the right field line. The wind up and the 0 1. Fouled away. Bases are empty here with two men out. Hit softly down the line at first, but this will wind up foul. Still 0 and 2. Lifted in the air toward the line and right. Gallo able to track it Ladies down for the third out. With the traditional never been expressed. Last half of the seventh here, and that'll bring up the former American Ladies League rookie the of the Yankees. year, Big Aaron Judge. The center fielder, Aaron. Jordan Romano will take please. over on the mound to start the bottom of the seventh. Number 68, Jordan Romano. Now here's the first offering. Fastball that gets the inside corner, strike one. Big fastball is definitely this guy's M.O. coming out of the bullpen. One and one. Hey, this is a real pesky hitter right here. As a pitcher, you really like to keep this guy off the bases. This is a guy that kind of sets the tables for big innings. The 1-1 home. A bouncer up the middle. On to first, and that is a big out to lead off the home seventh. Here's Joey Gallo oh, now. He's hitless in his two at-bats right at so far. Joey Gallo. Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. Fastball well outside.
can't sit back long enough and the count evens up at one and one. And he takes one off the inside corner for ball two. He's fallen behind now three and one. A three one count tying run on deck. Good spot to be a hitter right now. You have to look for something middle in. And a fastball misses there. Ball four. So the next to bat will be Murphy. He doubled his last time through. Yeah, give me a repeat performance of that last double. With a man on first right now, let him run, get you a ribbon. And he takes ball one. Perfect time for a mound visit right here. Just give him a breather, a chance to collect himself and get back to work. I uh, had him guessing that time as he's barely able to foul it away. One and one, here it is. And it's one and two. I can't imagine in a hitter's meeting today, that's the pitch they want to attack. Plus velocity up and in. It's going to be too tough to get the barrel to that pitch today. Uh, got him on the good slider there. Swung on and missed as he's down on strikes for the yeah, second man. time tonight. The catcher. Yeah. First pitch on its way. Zach Collins stands in as he looks at ball one here. Ball two now. Gallo is off of first with two away. And this will be fouled away. And the two one. Fouled off. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Springer has a read on it, and that ends the inning. Striding into the plate Leading next will be Teoscar Hernandez. Teoscar Hernandez. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. The wind up and the 0 1. High in the air out to center field. Heading after it is Judge. He gets to it and makes the catch for the first out. Coming forward now, the Toronto designated hitter, Corey Dickerson. He flew out in his last A.B. Your attention, please. Now so they'll go to the bullpen now, and it'll be the left-hander here to face the upcoming left-handed batter. Rendell Gritchick steps into the on deck circle now, looking to start something here with one gone in the inning. First pitch coming, here it is. Now a swing and a miss as they start him out on a pitch well inside for strike one. And it's fouled away.
the 0 2 pitch. There's a fastball well off the plate for a ball. Still a ball and two strikes. Here's another one, two. Every base runner in a close game like this really matters, so you can't afford to be giving out free passes this late. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. The next 3 2. And now this will be the 10th pitch of the at bat. Fly ball right down the line and left. Yelich is under it. And he makes the catch for the second out. And stepping in, Reese McGuire. He scored after knocking a single in his last at bat. Alejandro Kirk will pinch hit here with two outs and the base is empty. Number 30, Alejandro Kirk. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And it looked like the fastball got away from him there. <laughs> Loud contact there, but it's well foul. Two and one. Hit on the ground out to short. Torres scoops it up. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as this side is retired. of inning number eight set to go and stepping up as the shortstop. The shortstop, Flavor Torres. First offering. Now a ball hit in the air to straightaway left. This is carrying well out of here. Now back the designated hitter, Ryan. Good win. Your attention, please. So they'll make a matchup move here and bring on a southpaw to face the left-handed hitter due up.
Miguel Andujar will pinch hit here, and he's the, the potential tying run. Number 41, Miguel Andujar. First offering on its way. Now the 1 0. When you're hitting at the bottom of the order, you better be keyholed in the middle of the plate. You cannot allow pitches like that to go by. Now a swing and a fly ball. And it's a foul ball. One and two, here it comes. And another foul ball. Now another one, two. Hits are now even at four apiece. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first out. So here is DJ LeMahieu. It was man. a backwards K, a strikeout looking for him in his last Mayhew. at bat. Yeah, Maddie, and hopefully he got it out of his system, especially now he's got to bear down. He gets the two strikes in this spot, has to put the ball in play. A good pitch there on 0 1 as this is hit fouled over to the right side. Strike two now. Here it comes, 0 and 2. And it's another K. So back to back strikeout victims to start this relief outing. And now Number here is Gio Urshela. We could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. Way behind that pitch, it's 0 and 1. Looped under that one with that swing, which tells me he was probably anticipating it being a sinker. And that finds the target. Nothing in two now. Looking to put him away. Here's the 0 2. Lifted in the air out towards left center. On the run is Hernandez. Run with first following the error. And that'll bring forth the veteran outfielder, Christian Yelich. First pitch of the AB now. This is where you got to take stock in the situation. Adjust your batting gloves and realize you need a gapper to score this guy from first. If nothing less, pass the baton to the guy behind you and keep the line moving. 2-0 to the Yankees left fielder. Chopper foul. The 2-1. Well, this has been a long inning already, and I know he doesn't want it to get any longer. I expect a challenge pitch right here. Skied into very shallow right. Simeon is there for it. And that retires the side. Leading off the inning, it'll be George Springer trying to pad their lead here before the bottom of the inning. That last at bat, Nettie B, a changeup right down the middle of the plate. Listen, this guy's got a great changeup, but he can't afford to keep throwing it middle, middle like he did that last at bat. If he does, this guy might be hitting back to back jacks. Chad Green enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. Now the first pitch. He'll be fine coming out of the bullpen in this one if he can keep the ball around the knees like that. Swing and a miss on the slider, and he's quickly behind. Nothing in two. Struck him out. Struck him out again, I should say. His third punch out of the game. Up next for the blue now at the plate, That's Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Vladimir He's hitless Guerrero in three at-bats to this point. Here it comes. Right-hander against right-hander as this is a ball 1-0. You know, because this is just a one-run game, this doesn't strike me as a situation where he's going to be working around a guy. I think he's going to challenge him right here. 2-0 now. Pitch on the way. And he fouls this one off. The 2 1 pitch.
Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to go a little bit further outside the zone. Three foul balls in a row. He wants to get a swing and a miss on this next pitch. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Judge falls off the left fielder as he takes charge for the second out. Now into the box, Marcus Simeon. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Here's the first pitch. Popped him up. Collins is there. No problem with this one, and the inning is over. Ready now is Aaron Judge. Leading up for the Yankees, the center fielder. Aaron. Comes out of the bullpen yeah. to shut things down here in the ninth. Now pitching for the Number 39. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. Here's the 0 1 pitch. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. And as Yankees fans here on television quite frequently, see ya. Up next for the game, the right fielder, Joey Gallo. At the plate, Joey Gallo. As he'll look at a slider that runs in too far for ball one. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. And it's a called strike to even the count at one. Bases are empty here. Nobody out. And that one misses badly. It's ball two. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Therefore it is Springer and he's got it for the first out. Digging in will be Luke Voigt. The He's first working base. on a one for three thus far. Four. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. Fastball catches the black there for a called strike. Starts to go around here, but it doesn't matter. This is strike two anyway. A pause and the 0-2. And he struck out again. That's the third time he's gone down on strikes in this one. The so stepping in is Zach Collins. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Now the first pitch. Donnie couldn't pull that one back as he clearly broke the plane to the plate, and that'll be ruled a strike. Two out, nobody on. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Springer has a read on it. And no problem with that one as we are headed for extra innings. So here's the cleanup hitter, Rowdy Tellis. He could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. Jolie Rodriguez please. takes the mound as he'll be the first man to pitch here in extra Number innings. 30. Go, Haley. Rodriguez. Lourdes Guriel is up off the bench to Number pinch 13. hit here, so we'll see what he can do to begin the extra frames. the first pitch the 1 0 a ball and a strike you could tell by the hitters balance after that swing that he's seeing the ball really good his timing is right there and I expect him to catch something clean fouled away
Now the one and two pitch. This one's down to third. Scooped up. Throw to first gets him. One out here to lead off the tenth. Big spot here, and it'll be Bo Bichette. And a chance they walk him here to set up a double play that will keep the game tied. Just keeping him close. Here's the first pitch. This one's outside. Quite a bit off the plate that time. Now a line drive, and that may be enough to break our tie. That's down for extra bases. And the go-ahead run will score from second as they've taken the lead here in the late going. And he is out at third. So credit him with a double and an RBI like here. Into the box now, Dylan Carlson. As with two away, he'll swing and miss at the first pitch. It's 0-1. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. Grounded back up the middle. Torres brings it in. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. And that'll bring up Flavor Torres. He'll go to work on getting that tying run home from right second. Yeah, he absolutely torched the fastball his last time up. Pretty much a no doubter, so he's got to be feeling pretty confident right here. And he'll dive back in. And now the first pitch. Looking for a productive at bat here. Get that runner from second over to third. Oh, and this at bat is quickly moving from bad to worse. It's 0 2 now. And a big pitch coming here late, so he'll step out and ask for time. A decent lead at second. Here's the pitch. Try to bunt for a base hit here as he gets this one down. That lands foul, and he's down on strikes for the second out of the inning. The batter. Striding in is Miguel Andujar. The base knock to the outfield can score the tying run from second. Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. Swing and a flare down the line. And that'll drop into no man's land out there for a base hit. He's safe at the plate. And we are tied yet again here in the 10th. Up next to the major, the second baseman. DJ. And that sends DJ LeMahieu Ron into the box. Mayhew. As he looks at a fastball that misses off the plate for ball one. This is hit to third. Will it be two? There's one. Back to first. It's a double play. And we've got more baseball coming our way as the inning is over. Teoscar Hernandez digging in now. Leading off for the country. The left fielder. Teoscar Hernandez. Aroldis Chapman makes the mound to start the 11th inning. Number 54. I'll roll this. Here's the first pitch. Now a check swing, but did he go around? He did, says Mike Fillmore, and it's strike one. And he falls behind 0-2. You have one job in this situation, especially down 0-2. You have to find a way to advance that runner to third and give your teammate a chance to drive something into the outfield. You cannot not come through in this situation. And this is swung on and missed. And boy, they took care of a key man there. One away. Here's the first pitch. Go ahead runs in scoring position here with one away. Yeah. 
It's a swinging bunt up the line. Foul ball, strike two. Here's a fly ball, well hit. Yelich going back at the track. On the warning track, he makes the catch. The batter will be Alejandro now Kirk. Batting. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Here's the first pitch. Swing and a miss on a ball out of the zone. Hey, this offense has this closer in trouble right here. They have to find a way to keep applying pressure. I don't know. Everybody top step in the dugout. Get on this guy and make him nervous. Behind 0-2 now. Out in front of that one, but he stays alive and will do it again on 0-2. Now the 0-2. And he strikes him out here for round number three. So after a scoreless top half, they'll have a chance to win it here in the bottom half. Tyler Wade will be summoned now, now to be the pinch runner. Day. Number 14, Tyler. Big at bat now, and here is Gio Urshela. The winning run stands at second base. Yeah, it's always a nightmare taking on another team's closer, trying to get back into a game, especially in the ninth inning. But having your leadoff guy up to start that inning is as good as you could have hoped for. So let's see if he can get something started here. Julian Merriweather takes over now to start the home 11th, and he's looking to get this one to the visiting 12th. throw behind the runner at second and he just manages to get his hand in and he'll turn and throw back to second again and a dive but he's back in there here's the first pitch there's a fastball well off the plate for a ball. That misses 2-0. Oh. Well, you see this a lot. A guy comes out of the bullpen throwing bullets, but he has a tough time finding the zone. Trust me, velocity is a great weapon if the hitters are tempted to swing. Now the 2-0. And that's taken for a strike on the inside corner. Two and one. This is going to be an interesting at bat. I think he has to be pitching for a strike out here. So we'll see what kind of sequence he uses. Trying to bunt his way aboard to no avail. It's two and two. And every pitch so crucial in a time ball game. So he'll step out and ask for time. He struck him out the third time he's fanned in the game. In is Christian Yelich, and he's got a chance to bring in the winning run. The question is whether they'll even pitch to him. Now a look and a throw back to second. A dive, but he's back. Here's the first pitch. Now here's a ground ball up the middle and into center field for a base hit. And they've come back to win it here in 11 innings. some guys they they have that clutch gene and some guys just 